Chef, do we need to build an ark at this point? <laughs> Giles, not just one, maybe two, maybe three, maybe even four. It is very wet. My word. We had a cold front go through last night, brought lashings of rain, and it hasn't done us any favours today. We've still got a number of flood warnings and flood alerts in place and more rain to come. That front has left us in a showery airflow. We had a lot of showers out towards Wales with numerous lightning strikes. And we've got this warning that comes into place tonight, runs through until tomorrow night. So a full 24 hours of very heavy rainfall to come. 10 to 15 uh, millimetres of rain is a really conservative estimate because we could get between 70 to 90 millimetres over the highest ground. So it's in the build-up that we've got problems and even more rain over the Welsh mountains and the hills. So they, uh, that will impact the west of our region uh, come tomorrow or even the day after that. But we're currently in this little gap here, but we've got this area of rain that's going to be pushing in from the west later on tonight. It's a trailing front, but ahead of that, we've got these showers, which could contain hail and thunder, be very heavy in places. And then for a time, it starts to dry up a little in parts of the region. Some clearer spells, highs of about 9 to 10 Celsius, and then through tonight, more wet weather on the way. So it's very continuous through the next 24 hours. Shafali, thank you. I'm off to find my Star West. That's all for now. Mary Rhodes will be here at half past six on BBC One. Enjoy your afternoon.